Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Peacan Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at creating this conditional formatting. So, this bar represents the percentage of the target that has been achieved, and if it's under target, it will show a red bar. Uh, the numbers there, the percentage numbers there, but also the bar is obviously going to be full if it's uh, nearer it is to 100%. Uh, where you've got 26%, the bar's a lot shorter. If you get, if you've exceeded or met the target, uh, the cell is formatted with a green background. Over the target, all the cell sizes are the same. So these results in these cells, uh, there's just a normal percentage calculation, uh, the actual divided by the target. That's how we've achieved that result. You're going to need a value to base the conditional formatting on in those cells. So that's why I've done the calculation there. But let's uh, clear this conditional formatting and start again. So you start by selecting all the cells that you want to apply the conditional formatting to. Then conditional formatting, data bars, more rules. And what you do is you change the minimum to number with a value of zero and the maximum to number the value of one and then you can change your color so i think i was going to go for a red fill let's go for that dark red now you can have a border if you like i'm going to say no border click on ok and that gives you the bar for the individual cell based on this particular calculation. Now, if you want the values that have shown that the target has been met to appear in a different color, select the cells again, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and we're gonna say more rules. And if the cell value is greater than or equal to one, so 100%, then what I'll say is I want a green background with white text. And I'll just add a border because it, it doesn't quite do what we've got here, unfortunately. You have nice clean borders, but you can create a thin border. So I'll say outline, normal border. I'll have it as white, the color. Click on OK. And then click on OK. Now, you can see it doesn't quite do it, but what you do is go back to manage rules and you basically say stop if true. So what that means is if the cell value does, does meet this condition, so the value is greater than or equal to 100%, it won't go on and then add the data bar. And I think I gave it a black border. Let me just go back in and change that. So edit rule format. Yeah, I meant to change that to white. I thought I had. That's what I didn't do. Didn't click on outline. So you change the color and then click on outline. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on apply. Gives that paper thin border between the cells, but it's better than nothing. And there you are. So obviously now if I change this so to 9000, the bar fills up to nearly full, 99%. And if you exceed the target, then it will automatically go green, showing what percentage has been achieved. Okay, hopefully that's useful. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe if you find these tips and tricks useful.